and uh, that is that represents to some degree the, the degree of militancy in Afghanistan. <coughs> uh, we know that Afghanistan uh, was invaded uh, by the United States and NATO after uh, the 9/11, and they said that Afghan Taliban have uh, <coughs> give, given safe heaven to Osama bin Laden. <coughs> Now, is that true? That uh, uh, if it is suppose that the Taliban was uh, going to give Osama bin Laden to the United States of America, uh, were they ready not to invade Afghanistan? Yes, for to some to some extent, well, but pretty soon after a week or two, they came with. Surely, with another excuse to invade Afghanistan, because of the <clears throat> because of different reason. We know from history that uh, in 1889 there was also they needed also a pretext to start the war with the Spain. They exploded the the warship at the coast of Cuba and went to war with Spain. 9-11 was also a pretext for going to war because they had, they needed an excuse to talk with the people of their own country. But they told to, the, to their people that well, this is, uh, America is uh, the target of a terrorist attack. We're going to go to Afghanistan to make America safe from the uh, Islamic terrorism. But, and I, I think that still a lot of people in Europe and America believe uh, that they are really fighting in Afghanistan to make their home safe from Islamic terrorism. They, but the truth is completely different. They have their own agenda, the agent, the imperial agenda, I, I, I call it. <clears throat> and this agenda, there are their own interests, and not the interests of the people of America and Europe. Let's have a look to Afghanistan, uh, the strategic importance, and uh, other aspects. You see that Afghanistan is a country that there, if you have Afghanistan, you have influence over a lot of other countries around it. Uh, the new, the, the Republic of Central Asia like Tajikistan, 